Hello and welcome to my channel. I do many things on my channel. I do readings, I do cooking, I do crafts, I do sewing. And uh, today I'm making um, some salsa. I got a bunch of tomatoes from my mom and I got some frozen onions that I got and uh, I also got some jalapeno poppers and I'm gonna make salsa. So I got my pan here with the olive oil. I got quite a bit of olive oil in here because I'm making quite a bit. So, um, I'm going to put you up here. All right, let's get started. I'm going to pause it for a minute. So I'm going to get started. I have these frozen onions that I got from the um, Friends of the Community. Thank you, guys. And uh, all the people that volunteer there, and they have chopped these up nicely, so I don't have to do much chopping for these. So I'm just going to put them in the oil and start with the onions. I'm just going to leave them this chunks because this is going to be a salt. Give me a chunky salsa. And I kind of, I might have to um, put it in two different pots because I'm making a lot. So I'm going to make all of this. So I'm just going to let the onions kind of get started here. And I have this nice big pan and I can actually put this one in the oven too because it has one of those handles. Yeah, turn my oven on and then I got tomatoes over here and my peppers here I'll show you this so I got my tomatoes and peppers here and I got my onions started here and you can put whatever herbs you want in there I'm gonna put some oregano I'm gonna put uh, a little bit of everything All right, come on see. Okay. so we're gonna spin out these are all frozen. I'm just going to put a lid on it. Now I'm going to get another bowl so I can uh, cut these tomatoes and um, peppers. And I might use some bell peppers as well. Here where I'm going to put the yucky stuff. I'm going to put it on the stove here and then I got this here. So we're going to start with um, I'm going to start with the peppers. And then we're going to that's the way to do these is like this. And these are jalapenos. And actually, I think I'm going to put the seeds in there too because I don't have that many peppers, so it's not going to be that hot. So we're just going to put, we're just going to cut them with the seeds and everything. Just going to slice them like this. Okay, so we're just going to cut them up. Hopefully my fingers don't burn too much. Don't put my, don't put my finger in the eye after. I'm just going to cut the tails off. The only thing I'm cutting off of these peppers is the tail. And the rest of the peppers going in because I love jalapeno flavor. And this one here is a little red, but that's okay. And as the onions are starting, I'm going to wash these and... They came right from the garden, so they're not that dirty, and they may have a little bit of uh, dirt on them, but I washed that off, and dirt is not bad for you, especially when it's organic and, you know. So I got that, I got this on, on high. And I got some bell peppers, too, that I got from the Friends of the Community. I might use up some of those, too, just to put more flavor These are from my mom's garden. The, pa the jalapeno peppers and the tomatoes are from my mom's garden. She did her garden all by herself this year. Nobody, well, she had a friend help her, so she made a garden with one of her friends. For me, it's hard to get there all the time to be taking care of a garden unless I live there because it's a uh, you know, 10 minute drive. So when you have your own things at home to do too, it's hard to get always to help you know family when they don't live in the same town or yeah got a couple more here the onions are starting to heat up now and it doesn't have to be all perfect you know if you're just making salsa for your home and stuff it doesn't have to be cut perfect and stuff like that you go with whatever your family likes and you don't have to make it like I do it. I'm just showing 
how easy it is to make salsa and a lot of people out there like salsa on a lot of things right I grew up in Mexico too so salsa is a big part of a meal especially when you have like uh, beans salsa on beans is really good so I got all the um, peppers cut up here so oh there's another red one a little red one where's the attitude and then I'm gonna get the peppers out of the uh, fridge and I'm gonna put the tomatoes in last If the peppers are still good. Oh yeah, we got some uh, we got some orange. We got some orange peppers here. Gonna put them in the water here too. The orange peppers. Uh, I don't have any other colors. So orange. All right. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna put all four. I don't know if I'm gonna put all four in there, but I got four of them. So I'm going to start with one. And these ones I'm not going to put the seeds in. These ones I could have cut like this from the top. Go around it. That's how I cut them. And then the tail comes right out. Like that. So there's that. Let's get the next one. These ones come out of a greenhouse, I think. Right here in here in County. We do have started having greenhouses up here now too. Yeah, it's gonna be so good. It smells already good. And you're gonna add some salt to your onions too. It does help the flavor. Oh, these are gotta cut the bottom off of these ones because yeah. See like how that spots right there? Well on the inside it's quite a bit bad. One more to cut. Yeah, I'm gonna use all four of them. And then I'm going to come on here after I, I do this. Uh, I'm coming on live to do some um, to do some crafts. I'm going to be making maybe an apron. I want to maybe make an apron out of like a pair of jeans. I like to revamp clothes. So I'm just going to cut it the long way. That way it's quicker. And we don't do, we're not doing really small chunks, so. The tomatoes will be the last thing to go in, uh, other than the spices. Well, maybe the, some of the chunks, it might be a little bit big, but you guys can always, when you're doing this at home, if you ever do this, you can always do it to your liking, you know. We all have different likes of how we like things. Some of us are more pickier than others. You know. I don't know. I was wanting to sew yesterday already. I might not sew the, the apron today. I might just cut it out and stuff and show people how, how easy it is to make something out of something. You know. I always see the thing. I always see a cup half full. Half full instead of half empty. I hate when people see the cup half empty and always try to you know discourage people are trying to discourage me from my, my camper right now the lady that where I have the camper just because it has a flat tire well I know that already all in divine timing I pay the rent shouldn't have to be told that I should sell it it's not her business she don't know me just saying the lady don't know me Wilma you don't know me and if you want to get to know me I, I would love to get to know you but uh, don't give me advice if you don't know nothing about me or my dreams. I'm just saying. That kind of made me feel discouraged hearing negative from people. And it's not like I'm not paid rent, paid up on my trailer. I'm paid up on my rent there. All right. So I got the peppers cut almost here. I don't know how much my phone is going to record. If anybody knows how to clean out your phone from like, you know, cookies and stuff, I don't let me know. Alright. Let's check this onion. I'm 
we're going to use our wood spoon. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it smells good. Olive, the olive oil smells good in here. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See, I put quite a bit of oil, but olive oil is good for you. So, I have it on high, and these onions were all frozen. So, I'm going to let the onions cook a little bit longer until they start getting a little bit brown. And then I'm going to add the peppers. Let's add some herbs to it now. Let's add some herbs to it now. We're going to add... This is uh, tarragoni. We're going to add some tarragoni. It does have a sweet flavor, so you don't want to put too much tarragoni. But I'm just going to put it like that because it's going to be quite a bit. So I'm going to put it like that. And then I'm going to put uh, oregano. I love oregano and everything. So I'm just going to, you know. Oh, that's that uh, tarragoni smells so good. Oregano. Oh, I love the smell of herbs, man. So good. Smells so good. And then I'm going to add, we're going to add some thyme. Thyme, thyme, thyme. But I'm going to add this thyme here, the, the fine stuff. I'm going to add fine thyme. And we're going to add um, a little bit of pepper. You don't have to. That's just something I'm doing right now. I don't always do the same thing either. And we're going to add a little bit of wake up. And, and I'm going to use, because I don't have my other salt here, so I'm going to use this kosher salt. And we're going to put all the tomatoes in here so we can put quite a bit of it. Not like a lot, but quite a bit. So we're just going to do this now. We're going to mix it up. Well, you can see it. Okay. And I'll see this. It's gonna be some salsa. It's gonna be big chunky salsa, guys. I do have it on high. I might fast forward this a little bit. I'll come back to you when I add and the peppers. Actually, I could add the peppers now. I add the peppers now. And then all I have to do is add the tomatoes after. Look at this. Isn't it already very pretty? And the tomatoes will uh, add a lot of liquid. So you can let this cook up like right now. I'm just going to let this cook up. And I'm not putting the lid on at this time. Because I don't want the uh, everything to get soft. I want it to be get brown and crispy. All right, so now we can start cutting the tomatoes. Oh, that is not pretty. All right, so we got some nice big ass tomatoes. I mean, big tomatoes. I know my mouth. I don't speak right all the time. So we're just gonna cut it. Like I said, we don't have to cut it perfectly. I'm just cutting all the big pieces, uh, the bad pieces out. I got a bag right here that I'm using. I'm just gonna ch cut chunks, cut it in chunks like that. And you can always add a little bit of soy sauce too to it. It's really whatever flavor you want. You know, you can put whatever. I don't know what else I'm gonna cook tonight for supper. I'm hungry. And it is. I'm done all the reading. So if anybody needs to watch a reading. Get some guidance, understanding. They are there, and they are there. Um, the intention is for a week, so seven days. Is there? This tomato is a little weird. I don't know if it's really. I don't know what the bed. I can look at it. Cut some of that out. Oh, it is a rotten tomato. Look at that. It's a rotten tomato. Rotten tomato. Yeah, that one run. I got lots. Tomatoes, I got lots here. Let's cut this one. I ate a couple of these already. Just like put some salt on it and yum. When we were kids, we used to eat tomatoes with sugar, with sugar sometimes. 
and salt other times. Just cut up a bunch of tomatoes in a bowl and then, oh, this one's rotten too. Cut up a bunch of potato or tomatoes in a bowl and then just put sugar on them and eat it like a snack. Well, did you know that tomato is actually a fruit, you know? Tomatoes are a fruit. They're not a very sweet fruit, but they are a fruit. I didn't know that for a long time. That smells so good. Yeah. It smells good. It's going to be so good have putting this on some uh, beans or some homemade beans. Which I might cook after this. Cause, and then I might make some tortillas tomorrow. Who knows? But the rest of the week is for crafts and uh, cooking on my channel. If I do post anything, it'll probably be cooking or crafts this week. And then on Monday, or maybe on Sunday, I might start doing the reading. Who knows? I'm just trying to get on a schedule. Last week, my schedule got a little messed up because I had to help my mom on Monday. So I didn't, I didn't get to my readings until Tuesday. And then uh, Wednesday, today, finished up. Happy hump day. Happy hump day. And like I always say to everyone, if the reading doesn't resonate this week for you, maybe next week it will. And I will be doing different readings. One day I'll be doing uh, finance readings. One week I'll be doing romance readings. One day, one week I'll be doing family readings. You know? So I will, I can even do friendship readings, you know? Want to know about friends, you know? Have questions about friends out there. So. I'm a person that likes to know things. And so, other people are out there and they want to know stuff. I'm here. I'm here to tell you. And I I use my gift, you know, guidedly. So, I, I'm not guided. I don't use my gift. I'm an, an intuitive psychic, so, but I also know that, and I've been watching for the year, that people that abuse their gift, their spiritual gifts, people that abuse them, they lose them. So I've seen it with my own eyes. So I never ever do reading unless I'm guided. I guess I'm going to be able to put them all in here. And uh, when I have my intention set to it, then I know I'm guided. My intentions are always good for everyone, even the people that have hurt me. My intentions for them are obviously good too because, you know, when someone hurts you, it doesn't just hurt you, it hurts them too. A lot of people don't realize, you know, and my intention is for well, whoever has, you know, negative intentions for me, I just send it back to sender. So people are out there doing curses and whatever and spells on people. Well, they're doing it on themselves because I make sure that I'm protected from those people. So don't come for me if you think you can. You can't. You can't. Had, you know, a hater come and leave me nasty comments like you get a job and this and that. This person doesn't know me either. They don't know why I'm uh, why I have my channel. They don't know. I've never actually came on here and really talked about my my story. You know, never actually did not. So, for the people that think they know me, they need to go to check themselves. People that want to judge me, they can go check themselves because nothing good is going to happen to them if they keep doing that to people. The same. What goes around comes around. I literally believe that what goes around comes around. And I'm going to put these in here because there wasn't enough room there. And that's the only way I've gotten over things in my life and have been able to forgive people because, you know, um, I, I'm not a vengeful person. I don't go after people for revenge and stuff like that because I know my spirit guides, my angels have my back and they will... They will make it right. You know, people don't get away with what they think they get away with. People don't get away with hurting others. 
It always comes back to them. And that's why why it makes me sad so much when, when someone treats someone really nice and they get treated like shit. Well, that person one soon is going to get treated like shit and you're going to treat, get treated exactly like how they treated you. It's hard to believe, but it's true. That's why I'm very careful how I treat people because I know karma, I know that um, what goes around comes around. Karma is real, and it's called what you what you put out there is what comes back to you. All right, doesn't this look nice? Doesn't this look nice? Mmm, look at this. And then once I put the tomatoes in there, this is going to be some beautiful salsa. But I'm going to end it here now. We're at it. And then I'm just going to finish off cooking it. Oh. Can't see. I'm not quite ready to put the tomatoes in yet. Maybe put that soy sauce in now. Put a little soy sauce in here too. When I say a little, it's however much you want. Alright. Isn't this beautiful color? A little red in there. There's going to be a lot more red in there in a minute. camera stop because I don't know how to clean my um, tablet out of things so I had to add them in here and then I had to go and um, put my uh, video on the uh, computer so that way I could uh, add the rest of it on here so I added the tomatoes and now it's cooking down really nicely and I'm just leaving it open and I didn't need to use another pot and this one it fit perfectly in this one for what I did and uh, and the salsa is almost done look at this look at this salsa now So yeah, some vegetarians would love this. Salsa. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little video with me and I hope you make that salsa too one day. So God bless you and Schmucksen out there. For the Dietscher, for the Germans, the Dietscher Schmucksen. Okay, bye.